Good night everyone, this is Maka from Tough Gear Hunting Supply. In this series of video clips, we're testing the Ridgeline Buffalo Cam and Grasslands Camouflage. Now the elements of camouflage are actually quite interesting. They rely on a thing called Crypsis, and the Crypsis is the breaking up of the person's outline, their shape, their shine, and the use of shadows in order to blend in with their background. Now in this series of clips, you'll see that the backgrounds actually change and it's all within the same area. You see me here in the grasslands cam moving from the shadows and out into the sunlight and have a look up in the background, you can see the granite country up stretched up towards the back of the paddock. Now moving from this area to the granite country in the two different sorts of cams, I think you'll see a wide variety in the usage of ridgeline camouflage. This area here where I'm hunkered down taking a, a shot, all right, you can't see me in behind there. Now up in the granite country, here's the grasslands cam, and here's me moving from one place to another over the granite areas. Now the rocks there, they illustrate an element of camouflage that not many people know about, and that's shine. Have a look at the shine on the rocks and also the blend on the shine on the camouflage clothing, the only thing you can really spot on me is the soles of my feet. Now here I am in the buffalo cam, moving through the same areas. Now the buffalo cam, it seems a little bit obvious when you're walking or moving, but that's one of the disadvantages of camouflage. It's only good while ever you're still. As soon as you have to start to move, naturally enough, you're gonna give yourself away. But have a look at the buffalo cam in that shadowy area there, and it's quite effective. Now these series of videos were all made in full daylight in the middle of the day. Just to illustrate to you the effectiveness of the ridgeline in both grasslands and camo, the buffalo cam, here I am up in the rocks, now I'm moving. Have a look at the face and also the hands. Now I'm moving into a number of different positions just so that you can see the silhouette against the skyline is also a bit of a giveaway when you're, when you're hunting. I'm moving now, you're moving across ways. Now that rocky area there would give an animal a perfect reference point to spot you. The best way to move up on an animal is f towards it so that effectively the animal can't spot whether you're getting bigger as you're moving along because you're not giving it a reference point. In that rocky area there you can see my face against the dead giveaway. If I was actually fox whistling or something like that in that area then perhaps you would consider using a face shield. As I'm moving along the side of the rocks now I'll come up there notice the silhouette. That's something else that you really got to avoid silhouetting yourself up against the skyline. Moving down in and between the rocks, I'll get to another laying up position here in a moment, hunkering down, put your head down, you're gone.